Hi everyone. Right, Ray and I went to York this morning and we bought some bits and pieces. I actually did go out and get some fresh air. I didn't go too far. Couldn't make it all the way around. Um, but I'm just going to show you the bits and pieces that we picked up. Managed to pick up several of the dolls. They are porcelain dolls. Ignore the fact that they've got Victorian clothing on because they can be stripped down and even the heads move and they can be uh, new hair putting on and things like that so they can be altered and they're great for the miniatures <coughs> um, I managed to find lots of vintage lace so here's some um, I won't be ironing it uh, you lot can do that but it will be going up on the shop because it is genuine vintage lace Like I say, lots of doilies, so I'm just going to give you a quick overview of those. Nice mats that can be used for books. These can be all cut and used. Like that, some nice pink ones. We've quite a few pink ones today. So like I say, lots of doily mats. And all, you know, many of them can be used. Like these can all be cut out and used for your flowers. <coughs> so there's several of those. Lots of these kind. Or type. Again, more pink ones. That's a full set. Like that. Tablecloths. I like these, these are all different shades of uh, shabby colours, the mint green, somebody asked me the other day about what is colours, the shabby colours, to be honest, most people today think of shabby chic as light mint, uh, mint greens, pastels, lots of pastel colours, but in the Victorian age and that, um, it was heavy brocades and things like that that were really dark colours, it's, shabby is a style, shabby chic, it's not a, a colour, it's a style. So it was whatever was around, at, uh, you know, at the day, on the day. All of those can be cut individually. Now some of these are going in kits. Um, and some will be sold individually. Because not all of them are actually vintage, but many of them are. Like these are all modern types that have been crocheted. All in great condition. Or mostly, look that can be cut up. Another mat. This is actual vintage lace um, and it is a strip like a runner. And you can tell the difference between vintage and the modern day that looks like it is vintage. Look, with the applique sewn on. So that will be sold as is. I'm not washing any of them if you uh, want to do them. A lot of people don't like to wash them when they're vintage, they just like to use them. Um, again, this one. Is a vintage one and there's the large mat that goes with that this is a more modern one it does have a piece out here but you know cut it up and use it for a pocket they're more modern they're only made to look vintage again another one made to look vintage tablecloths which you know if you've got a little round table Use them. There's another one. Beautiful one, that. That's a pineapple, I think, pattern. Now, I also found these as well, which are, I'll just put these to one side. Um, the napkins. Now, what I noticed with this lot, some of them are hotel napkins. And I should know because I've worked in a hotel. Okay, but these are great for books, to make them into books. Nice, strong, sturdy napkins to make into books. So, you know, I'm going to put some of these in the kits. I mean, that's great. Little nap, a little uh, napkin there. Already got the edging on. Nice little cotton one. Again, this is a, this isn't a napkin, it's a, a table mat. The embroidered ones. And there's another one. 
These are the napkins. So they've got a nice pattern in it, but they do make good books. These are the ones that you use in the restaurants and hotels. They always have a sheen to them with a pattern. They make nice flowers actually. There's another one, these are the thin cotton ones. There's another mat. And another one. Then we found some of these, oh there's some more crocheted ones. Uh, then we found some of these trims, the braids. So there's plenty on there. These will all go in the shop. There's quite a lot on that one, a nice one, a cream one. And this is one of the good ones. And then we've got this one, and I love this. And to be honest, when I do the Victorian bed, I'm going to be using some of this. I'm going to keep some for myself and use some of that uh, to go on the canopy and that, because I think that's just ace for that. Nice thickness. Um, some more crochet doilies. These again can be used for books. That's a smaller one. Used for a pocket. And the larger one. Found some uh, vintage lace, crocheted lace. And then this is Victorian one. And it's beautiful really. Very delicate. But I'm going to put them up on the store. For people to own, I do have lots of vintage laces. These are vintage lace as well, and this is the chair back. Now, these are extremely fine, but will make great things with, like for books and that. And you're going to say, don't cut them, don't cut them. That's gorgeous, and I did get two or three of those. And then that one is absolutely stunning, and it is vintage. So I hope you like those. Keep your eye out. They'll be going up in the store the next couple of days. I've got to show this. Um, when I do do the bedroom, um, I picked this up. And it's funny because Julia was at the car boot as well, although we didn't see her. And she said she picked it up and was going to buy it and change her mind. Well, I'm glad she did because I got it. There's a, The glass panels are broken on some of them, but I'm going to take them out and use acetate. But it's great. I'll put all my grandchildren in and my children. So that's going to be fantastic and I'm going to paint that white and then scuff it up a little bit to age it and that will go on the mantelpiece because I'm putting a false fireplace in. Um, now I've got this, pick this little thing up, little trinket, I like that and these are precious stones shaped with the turquoise and that found another one of these which I do like these I try and collect them but I thought that's just right on the dressing table um, on a night put my jewellery in right what's next um, we've got some bits and pieces quite a few bits of uh, jewellery I absolutely love this but I don't go anywhere to wear it I think it's a piece you need to wear when you're out and um, it's got diamante bling all the way down each column and these are glass pearls but the, the luster on them is quite nice they're a nice it's quite heavy so that will go these will all go under the category of car boots which is um, a great one to look at and there's a little bird in a cage there that'll go somewhere some nice bits of jewellery whether it be clips or bling for flowers um, and then Raymond found these which are all bead caps there's dozens and dozens and dozens so I'm going to be putting them up for sale so many um, and these are great a lot of things you can do with them use them for your jewelry making so you use it as a bead cap make that into a, a lampshade for a, um, a side light vintage side light turn it upside down make it into a miniature fruit bowl 
add a bead flat bead cap to that a little bit of wire and you've got a cup and saucer so lots of ideas think outside the box but like I say they will all be put online um, now pick this one up now Ray says about using that as a cauldron then if I did if I use it as a cauldron then I'd have to like paint it and that no. I don't know whether it lose its look but I was going to use it as a pin cushion uh, and make a Victorian pin cushion from it but there's lots of ideas lots of things to do with it make it to a miniature of some sort a lady was on the car boot selling beads and buttons and she was selling them cheap so pearls and pearly beads these are only acrylic ones but they'll go for sale anyway with the tubs um, the vintage buttons a good selection of vintage buttons and each tub will just be sold as is and they are as far as I know they're made from antler deer horn deer thingy whatever you call them lots of vintage shapes and sizes don't look at a button as say oh well, I don't want that colour or I don't like it you put them on anything and paint them they're nice to the glass ones in there as well they're nice to um, do up projects fillers I call them fillers and you get in the tubs which can be decorated afterwards um, managed to get a hold of a couple of cherubs don't know where the other one is nice cherub to go on a project somewhere these I bought for myself I normally pick these up in the red but I managed to find them in this colour the mushrooms, toadstools so I've got those for my projects now we've got a set of these these are the uh, basketry um, napkin holders but there was a good Julie came down before she said make it into a dog's basket which you can what did you say? baby's crib make it into a baby's crib which you can you know put some legs on it put a canopy on it and I was thinking of pin cushions again another because I like bracelets but put them on as pin cushions um, this one we picked this up just before we finished didn't we it was it's metal and it's got wings and a skull so anybody doing um, steampunk or anything like that like I say we did manage to get hold of a lot of jewellery uh, some vintage cameos and they're vintage looking cameos be careful when you're buying jewellery it's not all as it seems nice pearls rice beads on there so you don't often come across that size um, I got these bracelets the reason why I buy these great for the crystals because it's cheapest way to buy your crystals but with these you're getting lots of the spaces uh, and if you were to buy those on their own you wouldn't get that many um, let me just we've got something to put that lot in or somewhere <coughs> oops I don't want it to go all over right lots more jewellery Oh, there's the other cherub. Right. Some nice cameos. That's a nice piece. Uh, one there on a chain. It's quite nice, that one. Um, some nice brooches and clips. It's a nice one some nice stones in all can be used for uh, oh there's another cameo used for um, there's one there that is a vintage one they're vintage style I got that although it's a double ring thing but they can come off and that can go on something um, bracelet with some nice pearls hanging off it diamante jewellery Always like a bit of bling. There's one like a feather. Mm. 
dangly earrings all these can be taken apart and used on something the knot and the bracelet so that's that lot like I say a lot of these can be used in the centre of flowers just put that lot together Uh, we found these, I got three of these, uh, little wooden units with drawers. I don't want the drawers, but I can use them for something else. I mean, that can be used as a unit on its own to hang on a wall somewhere. Um, I wanted it for the uh, the way it's laid out, and that's because I've, I've got some... F they're Perspex boxes that when I take the lid off and turn it upside down, I can use it as a fish tank for doing the apothecary shop that I'm going to be doing so and I can get three in there so there's three of those that I picked up which is great and like you say those can also be used in the shop for hanging on the wall the little decorations can come off but um, cheap Ray got these there's two sets of these they're door handles but they can be dismantled and used inside flowers or as they are for decoration or use them on your uh, furniture whatever you want to do with them um, I've shown you that one I did manage to pick up some doll's house furniture etc uh, that can be altered and done up I mean that says me making a unit I can take the doors off and have things inside which is probably what I'd do anyway um, there's a doll I can alter little porcelain doll oh that's a, an egg polystyrene egg just wanted I like them I thought well it'll just show people what you can do and each bead was put in with a pin so that's that a clock that can be altered and uh, coloured a dress form it was all from the same person I love this piano so that can be used in the miniatures that I do because eventually I will be doing some miniature rooms so you can't pass things like that up a nice rocking chair which is for the witch's kitchen that we've brought down for me because I bought a room to build it's a wooden box Ray is going to do me and um, I'm going to transfer everything into that and the witch will look great in that particular chair so I'm just using a normal chair for it at the moment here's a little unit that can be used and altered and then this is a vintage doll but I bought it because I can repaint the face and undress it and redress it it's actually a vintage doll and she doesn't have legs well they're there somewhere but that can all be redone so that's that So that's the miniatures um, and then lastly I think it is is this bag which is Ray found lots of these how many did you get 40 no, 25. 25 the metal hearts uh, with vintage pictures on all different so they will be going on the store, you can leave as is or decorate. They're nice to hang off of books and things like that. Or whatever you want to hang them from. Uh, bracelet. We get lots of these in. Like I say, there's lots of these hats. There's a, like a belt buckle, take the back off. Use it as a picture frame. These, when they're not flexible, then we, if I get hold of them, I use them to take the diamond, uh, the diamantes out. And that's because I have a little box and all the extra stones I've got go into it. And then if I come across a piece of jewellery that needs a, a stone, you can quite often find what you're looking for to uh, fix something up. Lots of pearls. Necklaces, bracelets, whatever. Cultured pearls, actually, those. The 
are too heavy for cultured. I actually think they're proper pearls because they're cold as well and quite heavy. That was a lucky find. A uh, bag of bling, all different stones for decoration, beads, already ready to hang. So that'll just get sold as is. Um, crystals, never pass them up. They're too expensive to pass up. These bracelets we pick up because they're great for flower centres. And then you can add your diamante around there, makes it a, a full set. Um, these we pick up because of the beads and that, and these diamante roundels. Sometimes for the chain as well. That's um, and then that's my favourite colour. That apart from the purple, that's my favourite colour. I've got nail polish that colour. I love it. But I mean, they can all be used. You can strip these down and use that whole whole thing on something else. That's like a full set that's on a, a bead. Um, these and these, all used for the beads, and that one. That one's nice, nice pearls that can be stripped off, and these um, acrylic things can be put into um, prisms. Yeah, prisms. But you can use them and put them into bead caps. Um, and use them for, you know, like... Stick pins. No, well, you can use them for stick pins, but what I'm thinking of is, I'm thinking outside the box, which is, you know, like, you use it as a crystal in a bead cap, upside down in another bead cap on top of one, and it's like um, for a witch's, you know, a crystal for a witch. That's what I'm thinking of. A bling butterfly, charm bracelet, which you've got miniatures on. They're great for doing little boxes, you know, a little lamp. No, I've got stuff like this um, and some more bling and like I said if uh, you don't know about these they stretch so if you pull them out they've got a little bit of elastic take that out that will then release itself so you'll have a row of them like that and you can use that anywhere um, and then I got some of these just beads they're like pineapples and that because you can use them in the miniatures and the rest of those uh, different hats I think that's it, isn't it? Yeah, I think that's it. What about your umbrella? Oh, well, I've, I've taken a picture of the umbrella, but I did manage to find this for the room. Oh. It? Uh, the parasol. When I'm doing my room, I found a beautiful one. So that's going to be going on the model that I have, you know, the uh, torso, uh, when I've dressed that up. Um, so, yeah, that's it. There's quite a few more doilies in that, but they're similar to what we've already shown you. So that's it really, and um, you know, I enjoyed the morning out. It was too much for me really, because I'm in agony at the moment. <laughs> My back's killing me. Um, but I enjoyed it, and it got me out with some fresh air, and we managed to pick up some bargains. So, hope you like it. Thanks for watching. Keep your eye on the store. It will take me time to take photographs and load it up. Um, and they'll, this sort of thing will all go under the category of car boot. Okay, thanks for watching, take care and I'll speak to you soon. Bye bye for now.